these are so beautiful Kim got me a Bloom On subscription for Valentine's Day for the year, which is literally my dream gift. And this is the second month I've got. And oh my God, they are insane. These are so beautiful. They are so much nicer than the last month's as well. Oh, I love them. Um, this one, Ben. I like that one. That's not even old. Sorry. Do you hate it? Well, she hated it. I don't hate it, it, but it's just quite small. What are you, what are you filming me for? I'm, I'm just vlogging you, getting rid of everything you own. So this is my keep pile, this is my get rid pile, this is my put in the drawer and never look at again pile, God, <laughs> this is my running clothes pile, this is my... Welcome to Terrible Time Beep. Um, welcome to April's vlog. It's Easter Sunday today. I'm just talking to you for the first time because again, nothing of interest really. Just kind of pottering. Um, yeah. Oh, I got makeup on this. So yeah, I've just done my makeup. We're gonna go and have outdoor lunch with Kim's mum. Um, Cause we're allowed to do that now. FYI, if you're not in the UK. I'm gonna quickly wash my makeup brushes. Kim's had football this morning, which madness. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna head over. But yeah, I haven't really got anything else to tell you. I've, um, maybe I'll be a bit more stable here. My hair's still a little bit damp, as you can tell. It's really desperate for a cut and I can't decide if I should cut it short again. I think I had it like here for a while and I love it. But also I feel like while I'm not, old i should have long hair again because my hair used to be really long but yeah i don't know i can't decide it's in desperate need of a cut either way so i'm gonna have to cut quite a chomp off regardless um and i think i don't know if i told you in my march vlog that i oh i've just got fucking foundation on these trousers i did that yesterday as well where's that even come from Oh, yeah, I don't know if I told you in the March vlog, but the only date that they could do after, obviously, April the 12th was the 17th, which is Kim's 30th, so I couldn't do that day. So I was like, oh, is it, when's the next date? And it's the bloody 13th of May. So I'm going to be fully brunette by the time I actually get an appointment in. Also, my hair looks really grey. It's not. There's no greys there. That's really weird. I think when odd strands are blonde right to the top it, um, on camera, they look like little grey hairs. But yeah, I might just quickly whiz it under the hairdryer. And then yeah, I'm done. I need to cut my fringe in a bit more as well because that's overgrown. It's all a bit of a mess really. I've just, this whole office is just a shit out at the moment. That's just a mess. I've got a rubbish bag down there. This is all stuff that I've had delivered that I've not yet tried on or whatever. It's not what I felt really. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. With biscuit, and no, we held them back so they would break. It's like a massive Who's it? Was it? <laughs> Hello, today is Bank Holiday Monday. It's quite late, it's like 10 to 3. We're just going out now to meet our friends for a walk with the dogs. They're being annoying. You're probably going to hear Fig crying in the background in a minute. She, as soon as you put her lead on, she cries until you go out the front door. So, anyway, yeah, I made myself a gigantic coffee to take with. Shush! Um, yeah, good to go. Fig. Fig. No need to cry, we're going. Also, while Kim empties the bin, how amazing are these? These are like started to bloom now. I showed you them the other day. They're honestly the most, look at these. Like they don't look real. But yeah, I cannot believe them. They are the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. Hello, back looking like a heap of shit on the vlog. Today's Tuesday the 6th. It was back to work day because the rest of the days, the rest of the days, no, yesterday and the day before, etc., were Easter. I've just realised I'm cooking rice, so I need to go and check that. I don't feel very well today, which is why I look like this, because I just haven't cared about it. But we've made jerk chicken for dinner and I'm drinking about my 17th cup of tea. So things are looking up, just thought I'd check in really. I'm like half dead, but just thought I'd show you some bits as I try them on quickly because I need to get my return sorted for tomorrow. Got this skirt from H&M. 
also yeah look this is all the vast amount of things that i need to sort out got this skirt yesterday from h&m that's my leggings that i just took off i think i mean i like it but it is like a weird fit i've also got entirely the wrong knickers on um it's a bit big around the waist maybe a little bit short for what i would want maybe she should go back it's a nice color though I'm trying to message the group chat and update you on here. So this is another one that I got. I've actually had this sitting for a few days now. Or well, actually a couple of weeks and I've not even tried it on because I've just been in a weird space. But anyway, this is what it looks like from the front. Again, wrong pants. Um, and then the back is like this. I think she's quite good for dinner on holiday. She also sucks me in quite a lot here. I, yeah yeah i think i'll keep her she's quite booby from the side but good for a holiday if we ever get one this is sorry let's just talk about the fact you get 200 grams of mints for two people that is so little God, it's such a ripple. I can't believe that. Is that right? That just doesn't feel right. Like that that amount of mints is surely not gonna make a massive bowl of food. That is a lie. Good morning. It is the 9th of April and my camera's about to fall. Yes, good morning. It's the 9th of April. I am just sitting here. I did a Peloton this morning and then just got out of the shower and my hair is just so dead from not being cut for so long that it now just dries horribly and like my ends just look so bad. So I've decided to cut a bit off. I mean, it's not gonna make a massive difference. I've cut like this much off. Um, it is gonna make it look a bit blunter. Also, it's not even in the slightest, but I kind of don't care. Um, yeah, I've got a hair appointment on the 14th and I'm planning on I think going a little bit shorter again. So you won't be able to tell. It's on the 14th of May, not April. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that it won't matter so much. You know, I can just wear my hair up for a month if I really need to. Um, it just, yeah, I can't really describe how awful it was. It was just really bad. So yeah, I'm just um, making it look 1% better. Maybe not better, maybe worse, but gotta tell you. <laughs> so yeah, also my little fringe department is uh, not doing great either at the moment. But again, I'm like, do I just wait? But then also it's what, that's over a month away. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. But yeah, that's over a month away and I'm like, hmm, maybe I just trim it. Maybe I just trim it. Yeah, I think I said last month um, that when I last went to the hairdressers, I was like, oh, I'll be back soon. Like, there's no need to get it cut. I'll get it cut next time. And lo and behold, I haven't been to the hairdressers since like October. So that wasn't my wisest idea. Um, where are you coming from? So yeah, that's frustrating as anything. So it's just really dead. I think this is probably the longest I've not had a haircut since I was about 12 and I used to refuse to get my hair cut very often. So I was always of the, the party that was like, cutting doesn't make it grow, despite my mum being like, it does, that's what makes it long and strong. So yeah, I'm just gonna, maybe I'll give this a little trim. God, God help me. But yeah, I just had the news that Prince Philip's died also, that's something in the group chat. I'm not really into the royals, I don't know much about them. I've never watched The Crown, like most people have. Um, Obviously, it's sad when someone dies, but I will say I don't know much about them. So he also did look like he'd kind of got to the end of his life, didn't he? So, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I will say it doesn't look much different. Actually, you know what? It does. It looks a lot healthier. It's just I don't like a blunt cut. There's also a few long bits. We'll fix those. Don't like a blunt cut, but do you know what? I'm over it, I don't care. A blunt cut is better than really, really, really dead hair. Also, my hair just feels so thin and I also feel like I'm losing more hair than I usually do at the moment. Um, so maybe that will perk it out, I don't know. 
we shall see. I'm now gonna put some makeup on and curl my hair for no particular reason. I've got some friends coming over to have dinner on the balcony later. Uh, Kim's doing so with his friends out somewhere else. So we're gonna get a takeaway here. And then I need to film a reel and I did want to start making a dress and it's been on my to-do list for so long that I just don't know if I can be bothered. Also, I've done that fucking thing. You know when you cut your fringe and then you're like, why have I done this? Just because I actually hate it in my face. Although I, I look better with it, but also, yeah. I'm gonna start rambling. What ones aren't? Are they all cracked? We'll try again. Oh. <laughs> so we're back in being cute. That one's gonna be fucking cracked now. Cracked. <laughs> um, we're buying a wisteria plant for our front garden. I have no idea what we need to do with it or how we're gonna get it to grow up the house. Cracked. Well, I, I this is a cracked. ridiculous thing. Can we just not get a cracked one? Well, no. Anyway, we're just trying to find a pot that isn't cracked, but they've all got cracks in. Hey, in my shiny head. <laughs> so now we've come to Wing Yip, which is the Asian supermarket, and uh, we're just stocking up on some bits and bobs that we like. But I found these little moons, which I've not tried before. These are like chocolate ganache, so maybe they'll be nice. So we're gonna try them. Right, so we're back in the car after um, Wing Yip trip. Um, this is the wisteria we ended up getting. We got two little moons because I just, I want to try these ones. I don't think these ones have ice cream in. I think these have got like fudgy stuff in. 100 plus. Kim got that because he's hung over. Um, oh. Six grams of sugar. I, the last time we got these, we didn't really care for them, but the internet tells me. I oh, it tastes like absolute ass. Does it? I thought it was like lemonade. It tastes like, you know, when you have diarrhea and then you have that no. water afterwards. What? You know, when you have like the rehydration tablets. That is what 100 plus tastes like. Right, okay, do you want one? Uh, yeah, you've got one. I'm scared. I don't know why I got these. Why are you scared? <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's really squishy. Oh God. I'm not expecting that squish. How is it cold? Not on the shelf. I good. I'm here for it. Tastes like a truffle, but in squish. I'm literally so here for anything chocolate. So this. I think you love chocolate. Passes the test. I wish it was just a middle. What is the outside? Gluten. Is it? I don't know. No, it's gluten free. <laughs> mm. Absolutely here for it. So confused. Huh. I mean, it is good on a chocolate level. That's when someone doesn't really like chocolate. Mm. A lot. Should probably show you these before they all get eaten. But Kim, oh my god, I just spat a bit. <laughs> That's so gross. Kim has made us a homemade curry for dinner, but like completely from scratch. So like no curry paste or anything, which I'm far too lazy to do. Sorry, I need to clean this table. But he's just come in with these onion bhajis, which are so good and like so crispy and delish. And then we've got uh, garlic and coriander naan, which is really nice. I've just tried it and he's just finishing the curry now. We're going to eat it on the sofa and watch a film. Hello, today is Sunday. Yeah, today's Sunday the 11th. I've, um, I don't actually, it's about half two, I think. I've got my dad and my sister and my mum and my little brother um, coming over for some lunch because we're allowed to do that on the balcony now. It's cold, but it's sunny. So doing that, hi big. And she's over here. Hello. So we're making like a big Asian feast because you'll have seen yesterday we went to Wing Yip. So we're making beef short rib, like teriyaki flavoured bao buns, chicken goza, nasi goreng, and like pak choy, 
veggie stuff. So we're doing that and I've been for a walk with the dogs and my friend George. That was like a nice hour. I've done a peloton. I've showered, got ready. Hair looks absolutely mental. What are you doing? Um, yeah, so overall very relatively productive Sunday. I've also got a Zara order coming, which is exciting. There was one skirt I wanted, but you get free delivery when you spend £50. So without fail, I always buy loads of stuff. And then, what are you doing? And then inevitably don't love it all. So yeah, I also got a new handbag. I don't know if I showed you or told you. So I found, so, long story short, I saw the Loewe hammock bag at Bista village which is an outlet village in like oxford a while ago end of last year and i was oh my god i gonna need it but it was 1300 pounds still reduced from 1900 and i knew it obviously couldn't buy it we were about to buy a house and the woman was like this is so rare we never get the plain black ones we always get like the patterns and like the old season stuff like this is so bizarre and she was like we've only had one and i was like yep yeah, okay you're really selling it to me but i can't buy it so didn't buy it that was in like october and then maybe september and then yeah i've been like on the lookout for one so i've checked vestiaire and ebay and things but not found one and the other day i checked ebay and there was one at such a good price and i messaged the girl like look where did you buy it blah blah blah, blah all the sort of usual suspect questions and she was lovely and she was like bought it in selfridges um she was in London as well so she was like, I can bring it to you and you can have a look at it if you want like I'm more than happy to do that um so she did and I loved it so I got it so I definitely wasn't supposed to be buying a bag but it was a very good price and too good to refuse so I've got it and I've been using it the only thing I will say is a couple of people have asked if I can do like a full review I don't know if you've gone back on my channel but I used to do like handbag reviews of luxury bags when I bought them which wasn't very often but as and when and I might do one of this or just chat about it in a vlog. But the only thing I can say so far is it doesn't hold its shape very well. It tends to, because it's like a multi-shaped bag. So you can tuck it in and it's more like a triangle or it comes out more like the Celine Phantom. And that's kind of how it likes to sit. But also if you wear it cross body, it kind of likes to gape open. So it's not the safest of bags to have in London unless you're carrying it by hand and you've got it all folded in on itself. So there's that to bear in mind. But I will show you it at some point soon and yeah uh also stolen kim's brand new jumper for today it's the uniqlo j range um it's really nice i like it he's got it in a large which is a bit too big for me so i think i'm going to reorder one in a medium but i really like it and then i've just got some old levi's on with it so yeah all good all good i don't want to out of breath what's wrong with me but yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i tell you and i haven't and i've forgotten somehow don't know Chef with the inner strip, yo. But the floor's so dirty. Oh my god, I'm all sweaty. Good morning, happy April 12th. Didn't even need to check my watch for that one because it's the day we've all been waiting for. Brunch day. Um, it was snowing this morning. We've got brunch booked in Clapham this afternoon and Olivia's getting a tattoo this morning. So I came down here with her, but they won't let me sit in there even though they did at the beginning of lockdown. So I don't know what the difference is, but it's fine. I went and had a little wander around the shops. I went to Tiger, which is my favorite shop. All my friends know that I'm just obsessed with Tiger. So I have really missed it. And yes, so I went in there and it's Kim's 30th on Saturday. So just bought a load of tour and like a balloon pump and like big 30 balloons. Um, what else did I buy? I bought the dogs a new toy because they haven't had a new toy in a while. What else? I don't know. Maybe I didn't buy anything else. I feel like I did party hats to take to the pub for Kim's birthday but yeah just a few bits and bobs and then I popped into TK Maxx because there's not much to do around here I'm in Clapham Junction and uh oh my god there's a guy delivering recycling bags and he's just absolutely throwing them at houses a bit aggressive anyway um popped into TK Maxx and the one down in Clapham Junction is a bit pants home section was naff there was nothing there and that's what I was excited for but I did pick up a pair of Iroh trousers. It's not a brand that like I know, I mean, I know of the brand, but it's not a brand I would know to like, I wouldn't look for them. But it was in the gold label bit and they were 205 pounds, I think, reduced to 20. Um, and they're just a pair of straight black, like lightweight, like crepe de chine 
kind of trousers. So I thought, do you know what, sod it, I'll grab them. So I don't think I can return them, but great buy if they fit. They look like a really nice cut as well. And we all know I literally live in black trousers. If you watch last month's vlog, you'll know that I've got about 500 pairs and I'm wearing a pair right now. So I probably didn't need to buy another pair, but for 10% of the price, who could say no? So yeah, now I'm just gonna sit in the car and wait for Olivia because not much else I can do other than sit and wait. She was like, go home. But me being me, obviously I'm not gonna leave her. So I'm gonna sit and wait and try and book a stay at Soho Farmhouse because I've just unfrozen my membership and that's my priority. Can I steal one chip? No, I swap you one chip when mine comes. Thanks. Thank you. I'm gonna eat because Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Just thought I'd jump on while I'm trying stuff on because I always forget to show you guys and end up just putting on my stories. I did a, a little Zara order because it was a really cute skirt that I wanted. And it's all so short. So basically, this is a dress that I got. And like, it's not very me in the first place, but it is so short. Like, I'm five, seven and a half. Everyone always thinks I'm shorter, I'm not. But like, it's such a shame because it's just really cute. It's the kind of dress that just would be nice to have if it was like here. And I'm not opposed to short things. I don't have very good legs. But I'm not opposed to things being short. And like the neckline's so sweet. But what? I mean, I could try it in a size up, but I don't think that'll necessarily make it much longer. But yeah, just thought I'd come in and complain. The skirt I got is this one. And I just thought that is, ooh, looks really grubby on the camera. Um, it's so cute, but again, it's like too short. Maybe it's also because I just have a thing about my legs, but like, it's just so short. Again, I could try it in a size up, but it fits me perfectly around the waist. I also got this play suit, um, and I re-bought this dress, which I have in a size small, in an extra small, because it's a tiny bit big, so I want to see if that fits better, and then I'll send the other one back. So I'll try these on quickly now, but yeah, annoying. Okay, this is this little play suit. To be honest, I kind of just threw this in because I thought it would be... Sorry, this room's such a mess because I just always had new in stuff everywhere. I thought it would be cute to throw on for, like, holidays and stuff. Not that we've got any books. Um, but it feels... It feels fine, but it looks too tight here, I think. And then... This is the back. Um, also, this has got little shorts built in. <laughs> Black pants. So I don't feel as exposed in it, but I won't wear it, so she is going back. Oh my god, that's a bee. I've just uh, finished shooting with Naomi and then come to Barra because I bought some prints on Facebook Marketplace and it's in the congestion zone, so while I was out I thought, I might as well come here and pick them up. I'm really dubious about having my phone out, A, because I look like a knob, and B, Last time I got my phone out around here, it was stolen out my hand. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go. Literally any fucker on a bike, I'm like, you're gonna try and take my phone, aren't you? Okay, I'm home now, still with my phone, thankfully. So yeah, it was just a normal guy on a bike, not someone trying to steal my phone. Yeah, I've just got in, we've just balanced them on the picture out here, as you can see. I really like them, they're cute. They're, I got them really cheap, she only wanted 20 pounds for them. They're solid wood frames. They've been framed professionally and obviously the prints are nice. I don't know where they came from. So yeah, that was a good little buy. So we've got those. I don't know where they're gonna go yet. I wanted to mix more wooden frames into this room because it's all black frames and I think it's a little bit cliche. So yeah, now I've just got in. It's about 10 to five. I'm gonna go to Ikea because I've got other stuff to do and I just feel like I might as well do it now. I'm hoping by going at this time, it's gonna be good, but I'm also worried that it might not be a good idea. Stay tuned. That just wouldn't be fun. Good evening. Have I spoken today? I don't think I have. Today is Wednesday the 14th. That's not very nice, is it? Let's sit here. It's the 14th and I've been so busy today. This morning I was shooting with 
a new client. Um, so I literally got up, got ready, left the house. And then I had to run from there across to Farringdon where I had a tattoo booked um, with Emily Malice. So I got that done, but it took so much longer than I was expecting. That was at 4 p.m. and I didn't leave until seven. And I've just got home um, and I've not eaten yet because I didn't have time at any point in the day to eat. So I'm so hungry and so thirsty and just like withered. Um, yeah, so Kim started dinner while I was out and we're gonna put some Mad Men on. I wanted a glass of wine, but I think it would just knock me for six. So I'm not gonna, but yeah, I just thought I'd check in. I had, um, I got a new tattoo on my ankle. I've always wanted one from Emily Malice because I really like her style. And then Pepe, she had a cancellation. So I just jumped in basically hurt like a bitch. I already have one on the back of my leg, but the side of my leg hurts so much. And also she was obviously tattooing over my nerves because I constantly kept kicking and it was obviously really annoying and embarrassing, but we're done. Hey. She's all out taped up at the moment, but this is like her signature sort of style. I feel like it looks really garish like that, but actually when I'm stood up, it doesn't. Um, but yeah. She does the lips quite often, which I really like, because it's kind of like, if you are into tattoo artists, like, that's her style. Um, and then I just thought the bees were cute, so we added some bees. <laughs> but yeah, she was quite happy that I'd let her have, like, creative control, so that's nice. But yeah, I hope it fucking heals quickly, because it hurts a lot. Good morning. Today is Thursday. I'm actually going into town. I'm going up to Regent Street to do some returns that I've had sitting around for so long I'm hoping they're still going to let me do them but yeah that's it I'm going to go meet my friend George and we're going to jump on the tube okay, let's do it now hi hi guys um thank you so much for watching just um a little um a little pointer that we've actually forgot to vlog today <laughs> so we're just going to catch up now okay so I'll just give you a little break down 88. Also, she's drinking coffee, which is why she doesn't have a mask on. Oh, no. Because someone will ask. Oh, Buckingham. Oh, look, there's no horses. Oh. Wait, is that what they usually are? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's the next bit. Where the horses? No, I'm not want to see the horses. I want to see the horses. Right, so I'm home. I put this new set on that I picked up in Primark. It's, um, I think everyone's been going mad for it on TikTok. And there was no exaggeration about 40, 17 year olds all trying to get it at the same time. But I got it. Um, I only picked it up because I thought, I mean, I've also covered it in flour, right? It, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to show you. <laughs> it's just a little uh, biker short, oh, I've got flour on it, that it would be good for the Peloton. Um, and the whole set, was seven pounds so can't go wrong so anyway i bought it because it'd be good to work out in and also it's really comfy i mean not flattering in the slightest because i'm not 17 but yeah so anyway got that put it straight on as soon as i got home i'm trying to think what else i got that i can show you i just picked up a few things for kim's birthday i actually picked up um this because it was reduced to a pound in tiger it's just beer pong but they're all black so i was like cute they're not ugly and did i get anything else i got some gold foil balloons that spell out kim and 30 and i was like do i need to get the word is and georgia who was with me was like you don't need to form whole sentences in balloons so i didn't and what else i'm trying to think i got just some bits and bobs and primer i got like those shower i think they're called shower lilies so I got one of those because I can't shower without them. I don't feel clean. So yeah, and mine's had it now. So got a couple of those. What else did I pick up? I got a hair turban because I, I've always wanted one. I've never had one. So I got one of those. Why's my watch going off? Oh, that's my alarm. Stop for the, oh yeah. So I'm also making him a birthday cake. So I've ordered him one in cookies and cream from Lola's Bakery because I wanted it to be a surprise and I knew there was no way I was gonna be able to make a full cake without him noticing. But now his family are coming over for outdoor brunch that morning. So I thought, God, he, he's going to think he doesn't have a cake if I don't do one with his family. So I'm quickly making a cake, hence the covered in flour, while he's out. He's probably going to see this one, but he'll think, oh, she's making a cake. That's so cute. And it's ugly. And then surprise, I bought you a really nice one. Uh, if I didn't mention, it's his 30th on Saturday. I'm not just randomly buying him balloons and cakes. <laughs> what else uh, did I buy?
I don't know. I think that might be it. Just rubbish. Just absolute tip. I did get actually, not tip, a jacket from weekday, which is men's, but I saw it in there like whenever we were last allowed in the shops. And I was like, oh my God, I want that. And I was like, alas, not spending 70 quid on it. And then lo and behold, I saw it today for 25 pounds and I had a 25 pound voucher, so I bought it. So let me show you actually, I can hold them all up and give you a little, a little haul. Let me put, oh shit, my shoes are there. Let me put you somewhere. But I thought it would be good just as like a throw on in the summer. So yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like it looks huge either. I thought it was quite cute. Don't know, I don't know if I should keep her. Why am I calling everything her? This jumper, her, this coat has no gender, but yeah, I just thought it was nice. Also it's navy, not that you can really tell, but I don't own a navy coat and thought I'd like one. So I got that, what else? Oh yeah, last thing I got, I had to swap something in our kit and I wanted this blouse for a while and I get monthly gifting from them, which I'll also show you in a second. And I wanted this for a while because I just think it's that sort of really cool, like Miami Vice, like dad on holiday vibes. Um, but it's been sold out online for ages. So I picked it up, I think I sized it up. I've got a 38 and this on the sofa. It's just sort of changed that corner of the room because I really wasn't enjoying it before. Um, but yeah, it's this huge wall blanket, it's so thick and delightful. Um, honestly, so thick, feels amazing. It's a bit scratchy, but I mean, it's just a throw. This is it folded in a quarter, so it's four times the size of this. Um, but yeah, and it's like this beautiful, like uh, neutral color with then like the mild gray pattern through it. It's like a big sort of like paint swish. And then I got another one because apparently I needed two. And this is the same wall, but it's, I think it's Linnea or I want to say Linnea. Linnea Anderson is the artist, I think. So this one is cream and white and it's got like this big leaf print on it. I actually prefer the other one because I think I prefer darker colors, but it is still like next level beautiful. So I think this one might go in our room for now. And then the other one is there. So yeah, pretty, pretty good gifting. So yeah, that's nice. And now I need to get my cake out, I think. Hello guys, today is the 16th and I literally haven't stopped yet today. It's like four o'clock and um, I literally just made myself a coffee because I'm so tired. Went to Wimbledon this morning to pick up Kim's cake um, and then popped by my friends because I had his present delivered there and wrapped it. Came back, set up all the stuff to put up in here tonight. I'm like a birthday fairy, I love birthdays. Mm. Yeah, so now um, Kim's just sorted out the outside furniture that arrived the other day and it's only a cheap set. But I'll show you what it looks like. Oh my God, that is glorious. I'm gonna sit out here. I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, this floor is the floor that obviously was here when we moved in. There's not much we can do about it because it's someone's roof underneath. So if we spend loads of money tiling over it and then there's a leak or something, it's just gonna get ripped up. So eventually we're gonna deck over it, but it's just not a priority. So we've jet washed it and we're just gonna leave it for now. And then that ugly wall there is being rendered next weekend. And then obviously we painted that one white. So it's a lot less offensive now. And yeah, I'm gonna sit right there and enjoy the sunshine. Ugh. What's going on? Uh, don't tell people about your birthday. No, I'm too hungry to tell anyone. <laughs> That'll be good. You filming me? Yeah. Do you want me to narrate the experience we just had with Pig's Lead? Oh yeah, hang on. So we walked to Brockwell Park to get out and about and I took the dogs off the lead and thought I'd wrapped it around my coat and then put it in my handbag. And then we got halfway around and went to put them back on the lead and it wasn't there. And I'm so confused, I was so adamant I put it in there and like specifically thought it was really like hard to get out when I put it in there. I was like, oh, that's gonna be annoying. So I'm gonna have to take my whole coat out to get it out. I know, we've just done two whole laps of the park trying to find it. And as we were about to give up and carry one of the dogs home, Kim just spotted the poo bags from the end of it, like waving in the distance. So we've got it and he's back on his lead. I've never been so happy to see a dog lead in my life. Good morning. Today's the 20th of April. This fringe is just not working. And it's 
11.30 and I've just actually finished shooting with one of my clients, Nadia. She's just heading home now. So yeah, I'm up by Sloan Square and I was like, oh, I could go and have a little wander into Coz and get myself a nice coffee. But I have a booking for the rooftop at White City House later, which, oh God, I look such a mess, which uh, I haven't been able to get for so long. And um, I was like, oh, I should definitely make the most of it because it's the last like hot day for like the next week or so because it's like 13 degrees again from tomorrow but I didn't want to go on my own and all my friends were busy but then my friend George has just said she's going to come with so now I'm like mm, don't go shopping go home do some work and then go out yeah so I think I'm going to do that oh I'm so sniffy I think I've definitely got hay fever like I've just self-diagnosed but I'm I'm on the, the spectrum I think of, of hay fever I'm just snotty and my eyes run and everything else but yeah I am gonna head home now I think make an iced coffee at home because as my mum would say we have coffee at home I'm just making dinner and um, I bought one of these what they called simply cook like kits again this is just like a vlog of me trying different uh, cooking things um, but they're not like hello fresh you don't get all the ingredients you just get like spice pots and it's three pounds for a trial box so I thought let's give it a go um, but I got, I got this one which is called, I'm going to slaughter this, it's Korean, bokkeumbap. We have bibimbap quite a lot when we're out, um, and this is kind of similar, like crispy-ish sort of rice, and like lots of veg and carrots and stuff, um, and it comes with the little spices pop in, so I'm just cooking that now, and some rice, looks quite nice, veggie as well, which is nice, we're trying to, well, I'm trying to just sort of half cut down our meat consumption. And it's got a little fried egg on the top, so I'm quite looking forward to having that. Just needs this. Yeah, I think it's Fake, get down. Sorry. Yum. Yours looks so good. Right. Hi friends, today is Thursday the 22nd. I'm back where I last spoke to you, I think. In fact, I think I'm parked in literally the same parking space as well. I'm back in uh, Chelsea. Oh my god, my hair. Because I'm meeting Naomi to shoot today, so I'm just waiting for her to get here. Oh, good. I've been waiting for these two mentally so I can try and take a photo inside a self timer. And it just left, so I'm going to jump out and quickly try and do that. Um, yes, yeah, shooting with Naomi and gonna grab lunch with her too so that's nice I can't wait I'm also dressed like a Chelsea mum which is very fitting good morning today is Friday I'm quite hungover because I went to go for a dog walk with Georgie yesterday and we ended up going to get drinks instead and that was just a terrible idea so I'm just sitting on the balcony I'm ready because Olivia is coming over to work that might be her right now it is Hi, um, what I was going to say is Kim's put some of his birthday balloons in a bin bag and Pepe is absolutely terrified of them. But now they're just fussing over Olivia, so you know what we had to see. Look to my right and there's this big urine stain. Oh. I was like, oh my God, he's pissed in the bed. That's so bad. thing is that when he gets in the bed now, I literally am just like, get off. Hi, balloon. And he's like, mm -mm, come on. And he gets off and looks at me. Dog. Good morning. Today's Saturday. I keep thinking it's Sunday because I was really drunk on Thursday. We've just popped to the little market and bought some flowers for our friends because we're popping over to their garden later to um, celebrate the fact that they're pregnant. Who? Oh my god, I know exactly what you mean. Um, I also managed to get some Icelandic poppies. They're only two pound a stem. I only got three because I didn't need any more. I'm afraid. So yeah, you can see how they come out. They are one of my favourite flowers. So we shall see. Good morning. Today is Sunday. I look as good as I feel. I just popped the Sainsbury's uh, just to get a few bits and bobs because my dad's come over because we are having the wall rendered and it's one of the builders that works for him or something along those lines. So I'm just going to get some lunch and now I'm going to go home and make a coffee and yeah. It'd be nice to have our little balcony looking somewhat a bit more presentable even though it's such a small little space but it's nice to have. I mean, we needed it for the dogs, but yeah. 
Oh, okay, caught them midway. Don't eat the grass. Oh, there's a tree there. Oh my god, I'm so so caught in the tree right now. Yeah, yeah. Let me just need to figure out everything we need to put up into it. Yes, hello? Just filming you and the new TV on the wall. It's not new. Yeah, could that go in the cab? So we're having, well, we've had the patio terrace rendered finally, but basically there was a few cock ups. They actually started a few hours later than they were supposed to, and then they couldn't get white sand. So we've ended up with beige sand, so now we're gonna have to paint it white. We're sort of half like, we don't hate it, this color, but I do feel like it might look better. I don't know, we'll see when it's dry. Cause if you look, Kim, there's a tiny patch there that's a bit drier and that's lighter. So maybe it will lighten up a bit. But also it does look like sand, so. Yeah, I think it'll, we, it'll, it'll be white. hard for us to find a white which matches it or colors paint that wall. What do you mean a white? No, like say we kept it this color, that white doesn't match it at all. Yeah, it does. White goes with everything. <laughs> it looks a bit like an orange and Dogs white. are very confused. Kim's made us chili beef from one of those what are they called? You know the little pot things I was telling you about the other day. So we're about to eat that. Put Mad Men on. Fig wants the dinner. And there he is. <laughs> I'm just really glad to have everyone at my house. I was getting really aggy with it. I think it's just because um, this bit looked really good. Sorry, I'm starving. I, yeah, I just, I keep having my true like introvert self being reconfirmed because I just... I get to a stage in the day where I'm like, I don't want anyone near me, get away from my house, get off my terrace, and having workmen here, and then my dad was here all day as well because of them, because he knew them, so he was like overseeing it. I'm just like, please leave me alone, get out, and I can't relax, so all day I've been like, so yeah, I'm glad I'm, we're done now, I'm going to eat this dinner, curl up on the sofa, and do not much. out of my reformer class. <sighs> Miss a lot. Hello. Um, we are just, we've just left White City House. We came to have some lunch because we're just women, women of leisure now. How nice those stairs as well, they keep so clean. Um, yeah, so now we're just going to pop to Zara quickly and then head back to mine and do a bit of work. And then I need to edit this vlog because I think it's nearly the end of the month, isn't it? When's the first of May? Uh, next. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're doing.